Ah, uh, good old spawn campagna. Hello, Scuttlepod. Nice panther. I'm gonna say this out loud right now. You defected to our side, right? Because I'm no traitor. Well, definitely. Barry here is no traitor. Don't look at me like that. I'm standing up for you. Everybody hold your breaths. Don't move a muscle. Link. Okay. C is still ours. <gasps> okay. Actually, there's two enemies here. <gasps> still there. Danger, and there's something else behind them. Something is really close to us. I'm honestly, I'm pretty certain of it. Hello. That's a bomb. PT-76 and he's dead. <gasps> oh god, no! I see him now, for sure. Okay, my gunner is dead and he's got a quick reload. Panther, help me! Please! Mercy! Thank you! Oh god! <laughs> Sneaky! Lord HG. Hey, the first time on the channel, everyone keeps asking me why do I have a HE round if I don't use it because it doesn't work. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is on the QF 3.7 RAM. Now this hulking great beast was part of an event. It's an event vehicle. It's no longer obtainable unless it's through the marketplace. And yesterday I would have said this thing really isn't worth it. It sits at 5.3, which is just below the VFW, which is a 4 second reload and a long 88. But this thing is a 94mm and it only fires AP, which has, albeit a very high penetrating round, 104mm, and at 1000 meters we'll still go through a 30 degree angle 145 millimeters of penetration. Now that does mean at close range we can kill things that are slightly over angled and we can bully the big cats of Germany front on quite efficiently. Now looking at the vehicle you will see this is based on the Sherman chassis and it drives like one. It's pretty nice, it's very mobile, very stable platform but that's really where the Sherman tree ends. Just look at this turret on top. Anyone keen eye will have noticed already that this thing doesn't have much armor at all. Structural steel, 19 millimeters thick, 50 cals will kind of struggle to go through this at range, but at close range, oof, you are in trouble. However, that means absolutely nothing when Barry and Gary here are sticking their heads clean above the top of the armor plate. And Harry here is even more stupid. His head is completely in the open. Now, more bad news, this thing only has negative 5 degrees gun elevation, meaning that we can't really get good depression angles on defilades. However, it is pretty tall, so that means we can look over obstacles that other tanks can't really do. And of course, we have the no armor is best armor meta. A lot of times I get hit on this thing, the shell went through, killed a couple of crew members, and we have six of the buggers sitting in here. All of the vital components are also dispersed, so you maybe lose one or two at a time, meaning that you can still function and fire back or drive away. But really, this thing is all about the cannon, and it is a very nice gun. And this is where I have my admission of guilt. I didn't like this tank at all, but after playing it today, it will definitely be going in my British 5.3 lineup from now on. Now on to our close air support vehicle of choice. This is the Seafire FR-47. I have never really brought this thing out into ground RB. I did GE the RP3s just so we can actually get some work done on the ground. And I really like this thing too. It's a very cool looking Spitfire. We got two props up front. And it doesn't really turn much like a Spitfire, but it gets the job done nonetheless. Four Hispanos as well with ground belts. Uh, I think you guys know how this is gonna go. Okie dokie, let's go get some games. Oh good grief. Well, this is the fill up tier. And we're on Middle East. Did I keep picking tanks that have bad depression? Or mobility? Or terrible turret traverse? Or a combination of all three? I should just play something that I actually enjoy. These poor guys on the outside. 
Look, you can get their heads machine gunned. Surely they would duck a little bit, right? No. Nope. Wrong gaijin land. Oops. A slight road traffic accident there. Did that bush actually stop me a little bit? That must be a Puma or an R3 down there. Oh god, R3s? Don't remind me. I was waiting on somebody being out here. Don't really even have a rangefinder on this thing. Oh well, somebody's there. It's a tiger. Yeah, I can get him. I don't know if we have full turret traverse. Oh, hello. This is some super mega zoom though. You know what? I really need to kill this guy with my next shot or we're in trouble. There we go. Right, the other tiger now. The one I was going for initially. Who's he at? Oh. He's kind of paying attention a little bit. No. No, okay. Well, angles don't seem to be a problem for an 82mm. Oh, reverse is diabolical. That's okay. It's a British tank. We can't get used to that. That is definitely not a good thing to hear. Oh, somebody just died down here. That was my calling. Well, that's a uh, pre-2005 and it has 20 mils. Let's just try and hide ourselves in a tree and kind of hope for the best, right? I've just seen an enemy here too. Where is he? Probably well... No, 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 I see him. That's uh, another tiger. Is this the same dude we just killed, maybe? Who's gonna know exactly where we are? No. I'm gonna guess... 600 on this. We got his driver. Which is not brilliant. Because that means he can ship me back. No, no, he's not gonna be doing that. God, I wish this plane would go away. There's obbles here too. We must be hull breakable as well. That will definitely be some sort of scientific discovery likely when we get yeeted by a heat shell. What the hell is this plane at? Uh oh. Well, he don't seem interested in us right now. Our team is doing a really good job on the caps now. We're just dispatching Tigors. Oh. Is that a flag bus? It definitely is. Oh, he's got a four-ish second reload. I really wanted to try and hull break his transmission or something, but... Oh, we'll go his gunner, and then we'll go for his crew here. What's this? Wait, oh, there we go. There's a, there's a hull break. I was waiting on that. Oh, why, 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 why? Is that... Okay, that's a plane. The gunner has been wounded. Oh, we've lost vertical drive. We've been discovered. And there's no way we can come back out of this. Oh, dear. Well, we can try and get him with this, the sea fire. Right, he's not shooting me. Oh, he is about to. Oh, that is not ideal. No. Nope. Not good. That's a very good player as well. Oh, never mind, he crashed. <laughs> well, see fire time it is. Onklers and bonklers. Uh, P51's getting shot at by some sort of SPAA. Right, I'm not, I'm not very confident in this plane. I've done a wee bit of fettling with it. But, never on ground are we. Oh, hello. That, I'm not sure what that is. A Spitfire. Italian one. Got some hits on him. I'm okay with that. We are gonna keep our speed though. Let's see if he wants to pull up towards us here.
Well, you really do not, but we've crit him. There's two vehicles here. They are a plane, actually. Goodbye, Pantherino. Oh, that's a plane. That's a friendly, though. Oh, 84. It's such a nice aircraft. Now I've already done a video on it. It's going to be a while before we bring it back out, unless we do a one and done. What's going on down here? Well, we got one kill so far, and a crit Spitfire. There's another one coming in. Where, where did this Spitfire go, though? I have no idea. That's a speedy Italian pizza box down there. Oh god, look at this. That's a mad cluster. Hold on. Pizza box first. Let's go. Oh, there's the spy. IL 2 is on him though. Oh, there he goes. 84, sorry. Right. Yeah, it's going to be a very angry R3-T20 very shortly. I want to try and bait this guy down here. No, wait. I was going to say, is this a Japanese plane? But it's not. That is... Fucking wolf. Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah, there's a... There's an angry R3 now. Shot down our AD4. He's down there somewhere. This fucking wolf is gone. He's got a big bomb though. Where are you going? It's like a nice plane actually. I like it. It'd be nice to get the gun upgrades. Just so we're a wee bit more accurate. Oh. Oh, that's not ideal. I didn't realise there was two here. Got some hits on that one. The other one is over towards their spawn. He's kind of slow, but I think he'll probably be able to catch us. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't like when tournament players are shooting at me because they're good. I'm gonna take off flaps. There's another plane shooting at me. Oh, it's another fucking wolf. No, I'm so dead, dude. Ugh. Okay, one gun. The other one's very close to me. Come on. Come on, sea fire. This thing's got a lot of power. Laps again. I don't mind if we stall out here, because that is fine. Or oh, something else is firing. No, this is bad. This is not good at all. Okay, took our flaps in. I think we're gonna lose this game. I should really throw these rockets off, but we're not doing so well on the ground. Doesn't feel like a normal Spitfire handles. Okay, he, if he's in any sense, he's gonna straighten out. No, he's not. Game is over. Rock us away. I'm gonna have to fettle my rudder here. Just going round and round in circles. <laughs> He's got way more power. The thing is, I'm stuck. And I think we would have probably caught this guy by now if we weren't. It's touch and go more and more every time we do a little loop around. I don't want to end up hitting the ground either. Oh no, another plane. It's a Do 35 though. Right now he's straining up. I think we did well to survive. I'm very sad that our team got ganked on the ground though. Although we did do a lot of damage, I suppose. So it's not like I was a useless teammate. Oh, he's had a bad time. That is an angry R3 again. Here comes a fucking wolf. No, get away R3! I'm enjoying this dogfight. 
Stop it. Okay, game's over. <laughs> oh, well. Ah, right. Oh, we are on. <laughs> Look at Boom Harris. Yeah, wonder if he watches Fly Daily. Anyway, we're on Sanai. We Sanai. And I honestly have no idea what to do. It's a full up here, by the way. So, this is going to be definitely difficult to deal with. I still haven't figured out if we can eat a panther through its upper front plate at a relatively close range. I would like to find that out this time, though. That is not a safe way to go, but he's going there. No, he's dead. Train tracker. Right. We're looking out for Tigor 1s. And R3T20s. You normally go C, though, the, the, T the R3s. This like tires pushing on to A. Something smoking here anyway. But slowly. Right. There seems to be Oh god no. That was a good smack. Okay, this... Oh, this panther's gonna kill me. Oh, God. Yeah, oh, where's my driver gone? We got his horizontal drive out. Load up. Driver's back up. we we'll finish off this Naz horn. And there's a Waffen tractor up there. I should have shot this Waffen tractor first. I only stopped, though. Please notice me. Okay, his breach is out. Panther's backed up. He's driving forward. I think we'll go to the cap, actually. The ruffle tractor is going to be doing some reparations. So is this Panther. We can yoink some. Oh. Try and yoink some spawn points. We'll load HE this time. Oh, he's gone. Back to AP. Oh, we're getting arty dropped on us. No. I'm just coming up behind me. Quick UE, as they say in Australia. That's a lot of silver lines for our cab point. This thing is coming. No dust, why? Oh god, it's right here too, and I don't know what it is. It's a bulldog? <gasps> a tiger! Yeah, okay. Things are getting a bit medieval around here. I could crew the plane. That Waffen Tractor and the Panther are going to be bagged shortly. Ah! Okay, where did I get killed from up there? Oh yeah, B was taken. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I think we did pretty well, though. Oh my god, well, the driver is okay at least. Oh, wait, we got vehicle burned down. Well, Gary and Barry survived. Right, C fire time. A's being decapped, which meant there was someone really close by to me. Didn't hear him, though. Maybe that tiger that took out the Fly Daily fan early. He's in a chaffy now. Well, oh, Anthony is dead to kill me. There's a lot of things near A. You have plenty of rackets. For you. Can't tell if something's shooting at me. I just hear a lot of explosions. Oh. It's quite a short dispersion without the gun upgrade. Right, that tiger, I think, is our next opponent. Oh, there's two tigers down here. Another open top boy. What on earth are you, actually? Is that... I was going to say the Chinese SPA, but it's definitely not. 
What is this? Another Waffen Trigger, maybe? It was. Emphasis on the was. Aha! And another one. Back up we go. And they died. The plane's coming in. That's a terrifying looking sight. Right. Buffalo tractor. And then this tiger, hopefully. We're just going to dump all four rockets on this Tigor. And then go for these planes, I think. Is the plan. Okay, Waffen Trigger's not dead, though. I missed all my rockets. That one bounced off the ground and went yeehaw, dude. Right, I'm not very confident in other aircraft. Especially since we're now low on ammo. And this doesn't fly like a normal spy. Okay, hits on. He's, that's a thousand kilo bomb as well. A one ton. Oh god. Yeah, this guy was close. Easy five. Oh damn, I didn't see that tower. I get killed by not last. Oh no, I think that's me out of the game as well. Oh well. Back to the old drawn board. Oh Christ. Right, Wallonia. It's not very comforting to see a bulldog on our team. That means we're at least 6 0. And I think it is a 6.0 game. See, when you see. Oh, we got a T20 on our team, we've already won. Yeah, whenever I see M18 speeding away, I keep thinking this thing is pretty slow, but it's okay. It's as fast as, fast as a Sherman. Maybe a little bit slower. But it's not a. Uh, it's not terribly slow. It's just because of the gun handling and the way the turret kind of bounces around that really kind of makes it feel that way. Sluggish. It's like trying to swim your way across the naked fly daily in a swimming pool full of baby oil. <laughs> it's just, I can't go with this dude. Baz and Gaz dude. Oh, that's a nice kill. He was right there too. Oh, well, M18 versus M18. The Spider-Man meme is back. Alive again. Oh god, dude. A panther was down there as well. Oh, on the A-cap, actually. Another zone captured. We have the advantage. Right, where is this godforsaken Chinese M18? I don't really want to peek that hell because we can't reverse back down. I was hoping to get some audio. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, well, there's the M18 there. This dude is... What's up, man? Are you alright? This thing's tracked. That is an M18. And he's got... Okay. Can't see anything for dust as usual. He's managed to tuck behind the house as well. There's a Tiger 2P just shot this guy. I don't know where from. I'd appreciate this dude not disappearing constantly. Oh. Okay. Panther G as well. I think we're sort of safe behind this house a little bit. Probably not too much though. Oh god. Dusty boys dude. There's a tree behind me, so I can't see third person. Let's see if I can reverse it over. Oh no. Okay. For a, for a solid shot, this thing's got some mad post pen times. Obviously, the thicker the armor, the better. Where is this Tiger 2P at, though? That's the thing I'm kind of worried about. If there's anything up there, I'm scared. Especially if it's a Tiger 2P. That was a... Not, well, I was going to say it's not a very comforting sound, but it's a P-9. Just the complete opposite, it's a very comforting sound. Aha. I see one. I hit his nipple. 
Oh, damn. That might be a tiger too. Oh, Ravens. Driver, loader and engine. Actually, we kill his loader. Then, what, what did he hit me with though? He must have hit the ground in front of me. Because if that was heat, it should have hull broke me. Tiger's firing over this way. Got a decent fire arc here, but not amazing. An IS-2. And an M18. We should be able to delete an IS-2 pretty easy. Oh, here he comes. Not with that shot. Oh, I am not re-peaking that. We're not surviving a 122. That's a hull break on itself. I tried to go for his turret ring. I should have just gone for his turret cheek. I would have killed his entire turret crew. Wiped them out. Let's go back, actually. I'm going to pretend I don't exist. And I think that's the best strategy for me right now. Okay, the top of that hill is now three friendlies. Hey, it's two's dead. The one that was looking at me actually. One last little peek up here. What are you, 50 Callan? Oh, hello. This is going to be a long ball. Good shot. I am very happy with that. Now, is he going to move? Or is he going to keep driving? Nope. He kept driving. Oh, no. Okay, this is okay. Oh, I'm on that. He's not coming my way. Engine radio. He's going to turn his turret around in a sec. No. Nope. Yeah, oh, well, there we go. Non-pen. Okay, that's the turret ring and turret overlap we just hit, I think. Stop doing that. Okay, horizontal driver's out. He's in trouble. Can't defend himself. Good. I'm, a, I'm actually kind of liking this. <laughs> I am actually kind of liking the RAM. When it's was first introduced, I was just not a fan. I just compared it to the VFW too much. Sometimes you gotta ignore the battle ratings of vehicles and just appreciate them for how goofy they are. Well, speaking of goofy, it sounds like we've got some Axis pilots up. Awesome. God, I'm just thinking, SPAA is actually more lethal to us than anything else. Our team are full pushing. Are you committing to this? I'll come with you if you need me. Jackson's fighting something. Oh, my team has died. Zone we have plenty of bodies left. Oh, Jackson, what's over here? An IS-2 is dead. Battlefield sounds so quiet right now. Um. Uh, something is on A. I suppose that's somewhere we could go. Mm-hmm. I'm not waiting. You better believe it. Don't see any exhaust smoke or different color things or shapes. So he's probably behind the building or something. We'll push a different direction to this Super Persian. Although we got an M18 and a Super Persian pushing on here, it's very likely I'm not going to be the one that secures this. That guy is far away, maybe? I don't know. Concerning. <laughs> you are. A normal Persian as well here. Heavy boy. Seems like he's getting bullied though. This, this Persian's gonna finish this guy off. 
KVA-5. Okay, back on the offensive. Uh, E-47D is not looking very good. He's smoking. He's not being chased by anybody. Kind of probably got an ace on a fill up to you. Oh, what the hell is this? <gasps> no. Yeah, that's an Austin. One tapped. We shooting this Jackson as well. There is another one behind him, heavy tank. Maybe further over. Oh, there he goes. Gotta stop saving people, we'll get more kills. I was gonna say. He looks dead, but no. <laughs> he looked dead, but that is all. Sneaky. Yeah, we did alright, dude. We just played that patience game. Oh, there is a lot going on here now. VFW. My arch nemesis. I can't believe Hullbreak is working properly. It's a damn miracle. Is this the flag bus that died to my left? Uh oh. Apparently this guy is visible. Oh, stir a meal. That's rough. Bad shot. That's dead, whatever it is. They're on C, but it's too late. I think the tickets are about to bleed. Yes, they are. Oh, P47. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, he's been chased. Oh, that was my time to show off. Never mind. Oh my god, that would have been pretty cool. I'm sorry, man, I tried. <laughs> GG, though. Eight kills. If there's one map we're not going to do well in, it's American Desert. We are against Germany and Sweden, which means no R3T20s. That's a, made me a happy man. Not so much on the map front, though. Now, there is a kind of highway down here we can watch. I thought that might be a good idea. Since it's flat and we don't have the gun elevation or depression to shoot things unless we're on the flat. However, we can get flanked here on this side. I don't want to stick too much of my big old vehicle Oh, I cover too much. I think it's the only sort of option we have. This is going to be my angle. Already got green tracer coming. Which means World War II Germans. And it's very likely King Tigers. Or Pantheronis. Actually, I'm not sure if we can go through the upper front plate of a panther, we might be able to. I'm actually exposed a little bit here. Go down the street. Let's just check on Barry and Gary. Yeah. They can pull face as usual. Absolutely out their face on T. I think we need to get a bit more proactive here. But M18 has pushed a big flank and is more than likely going to capture the flag. There's a medium tank in here though, which is probably that panther I mentioned. Yeah, that's smoke. If he comes out this side, and there's every chance. There he is. That's a big oof. Somebody had already hit him made him an easy kill. Let me just check this round actually. Is that really... Oh, hello. 
Um, good. At, yeah, we're good on angles. Although I do live right next to a railway, that was definitely in game. I right, wait. Fun fact for everyone. The Harry Potter train drives past my house on the way to Hogwarts. Oh, somebody is here. How? I mean, there's every chance he snuck past. Is there really somebody here? Or did they just make that up? Could be a puma. I can actually definitely hear something. Oh yeah. It's the demon machine. And we managed to hull break him as well, even though I missed his gunner. Oh. Well, that's me but better. Way better. And that's only a slight BR higher. With a four second reload and a long 88 instead of this 92. I know which one I would rather play. So the VFW snuck up pretty good, dude. That's scary. Super flanker. Well, it's looking like the enemy team's not doing so well. Need to get aggressive, I guess. We should have a plane by now. We have two kills. Have dude, hull break's not worked for like two weeks, and then the one time I really need it, it worked. The Gaijin God smile upon me. Probably because I did the zoot. <gasps> I somehow survived. Ricochet? I'm so dead. Oh, thank you very much, Cookie Monster. Why Ricochet? Oh no. Time to return the favor, I think. Yeah, no Ricochet on that one. Oh no. That was a terrible shot, actually. Um, Gookie Monster are probably going to kill that panther. Actually, do you know what? He just killed another guy. Delaton. Um, let's have a wee look this way. I'm actually going to go push this panther. Like an idiot. <gasps> what the heck? Okay. I can push in front of that okay he's dead I hate so wait this panther is gonna be back up in no time we just keep running into more vehicles okay I'm happy with assists where is panther right there admissions out you can see the front of my tank I'm pretty sure We might get another bit of shrapnel unless this M18 wants to pull up and shoot him from behind. I one never went through that time. He's definitely getting shot at from behind though. Diamond the heli. Nice dude. Okay. Patience is key. I've just noticed that Baz is injured though. Not too good. Oh, we are all over the spawn now. Our entire team, actually. This hasn't gone well for the Germans. I'm quite happy with two kills and three assists on this. Like, I'm not upset about it. I didn't think I would take this tank out and go crazy with kills, that's for sure. This will absolutely do it.
Oh wow, there's a guy over here. Oh, he's dead. Come on. So, we have legs. How is that artillery dropping near the spawn? I don't think that's allowed, is it? Well, maybe maybe they can actually, because the spawn protection area on this map is colossally big. Oh, it might be. Oh, Commander Engine. <laughs> oh well, I aimed way too high. He's probably gonna die now, and that'll give us four assists and two ground targets. <laughs> Vehicle burned down. Oh yeah, rightly so. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Okay, see fire. The game's probably over, but let's give it a shot. Well, very good game, I suppose. The team did extremely well. <laughs> Just a reminder to everyone, killing somebody after the mission is already accomplished or lost doesn't actually affect anyone's stats, so don't don't get angry. It's okay. But yeah, the QF RAM is a lot of fun. This thing costs $6 currently on the marketplace. It will probably go up in value pretty much on a weekly basis. Uh, if you don't own one and you've got a spare 6 Gaijin coin kicking around or a little bit of expendable income, it would definitely be worth a wee bit of investment. And give it a shot. Take it out on a test drive, see if you fancy just memeing around in it, and yeah, enjoy it. I think as well I'm going to invest a little bit more time in sparing this thing. I think maybe just because of the engine performance etc that I didn't have and just went straight for the RP3s I kind of missed out on what this thing is capable of. It's a very nice aircraft, good for ground striking and we've also got the Sea Fury here as well to try it. But that'll be for another video. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching, much love and bye bye.